Some high profile court cases have resulted in cameras being allowed inside the courtroom. In today's legal lens, Brown and Crouppen's Andrea McNary taking a closer look at what the law says about cameras in courts. Andrea, what are the circumstances when, when cameras, television cameras, are allowed inside a courtroom in Missouri? So in Missouri, operating rule 16 prohibits a blanket rule saying there cannot be any media coverage. So media coverage of judicial proceedings will be permitted on a case by case basis if expressly authorized by the judge. So the judge has discre discretion to prescribe uh, particular conditions to allow um, media coverage of a courtroom. Uh, a judge may prescribe the manner and method in which things will be broadcasted. And the judge may decide for other reasons, including privacy and security and the rights of the parties not to allow certain things as far as the media coverage goes. Seems like it's one of those issues where, where people have varying opinions on whether it's a good thing or not. I guess, what, what are some of the, the pros and cons as, as people see it? You know, they, it really is a competing interest because we have a, uh, everybody has an interest in the public to know what is going on in our courtrooms. Our courts are generally um, open um, for various reasons, including ensuring justice is being served. There's transparency. There's some First Amendment rights um, that are concerned there. But the cons of it, you know, the things that the judges have to weigh are lack of privacy. Um, sometimes you can, uh, you know, uh, poison a case's jury pool by allowing um, a lot of facts to be known before a trial. Um, and you can also sensationalize those real life problems and that can be humiliating to people seeking justice. And as far as the federal courts go, what are the, the rules in terms of uh, potentially allowing television cameras inside there? So federal courts are a completely different animal. Generally speaking, they do not allow pictures, photographs, recordings in their courtrooms. However, the most recent rendition of, of a rule in, in 2022 does not have explicit uh, exceptions to that general rule, but it does talk about letting things like teleconferencing in certain circumstances, which would include broadcasting uh, a trial or a hearing. All right, Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen, uh, we appreciate your insight, thank you so much. You're welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. Remember, you can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.